unsnipped, unplugged and unhosed. Yeah. If I'm lucky right now, everything's gonna be watertight. So fingers crossed and wires crossed. Yeah, that's not good. So welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Matt and I'm 32. I sold my house to buy this van and to build it out and to travel through Europe. For now, I'm still building, but sooner or later, I will get out and explore Europe. And if you're interested to follow me along, you have the subscribe button down below. And with that said, let's start the video. In today's vlog, I'm gonna install a new faucet because the small faucet empties the tank really quickly because the pump is a six liter in a minute pump. Yeah, so I can only put it on and off. I have nothing else to control the flow. I decided to actually get another faucet that's made for high pressure pumps. So I actually can reserve some water when, when I'm in the van because that's gonna be critical. So that's what we are gonna do today. So how the hell do I make a 10 minute vlog that's interesting for you to watch about the faucet install? Yeah, that's gonna be a challenge. Unsnipped, unplugged and unhosed. So that's, yeah. Yeah, that's gonna look nice. So let's find something so we can measure this. I have no clue what it's called in English, but in Swedish, it's called skjut mot. Let's take this inside the garage and skjut mot this to know what, what size hole we need. And this is 32. I think that's 32. 32. Looks like 32. Now you know too how it is. <coughs> so here is the faucet that we're gonna install. It's actually not that expensive. It was 499 krona. I think that translates to around 45 bucks in USD. That's not too shabby. It was from Amazon. I put in a link in the description down below if you're interested. So, and I bought this version because I can take this out. I have the faucet right next to my sliding door. I can just pull that out and rinse off myself or something else outside. So that's really neat. And it's a really long, really long, actually. I need to find something to connect this hose into a threaded hose that's on the faucet. So yeah, I'm gonna see if I can find something for that. Otherwise I have to buy something. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean this first. Cleaning may be a little bit of a stretch. Make it a little less messy might be a better word to use. Yeah, let's go with that. Straight down and like that. Look at this. Look at this. I am saying that I should have done this from the start, but yeah, it's never too late to change. Never too late. Remember that. So this looks really good and the hole is a little bit too big, but it's not gonna matter too much. One thing here is that I'm gonna have to live with this hole here and the same goes for this side and that's because of the old tap had two screw holes on either side so yeah. So let's screw this on place because 
I can't have it like this. Then hook up the water and the pump and fingers crossed there's no leak. Okay. Uh, unscrew the screws all the way and just leave them right at the edge. Then you should tighten this big nut. And then at the last step you use the screws just to make make it a little bit tighter. So this is what I'm gonna use. This one's gonna go to the pump because on the pump side I have a regular hose. So that's gonna go in here. We're gonna have we're gonna see if I have gonna have to put some plumber's tape on this, but I'm gonna try without first. But yeah, you might have to, but this is how we're gonna do. There's a hot side and here's the cold side. And this is the inlet for the pump. And this, I'm gonna have a hose clamp, of course, but for testing, I hope this will be enough. Nope. I think I'm gonna have to find a hose clamp for that. I don't think I have one, but let's see. Let's do some digging. And hopefully we can find one together. <gasps> oh my God. Is this my lucky day or what? I think it was the third drawer. Right on the money. Then put it in here. And then it's just a matter of clamp this down. Don't forget to tighten this up before you put on the pump because a high pressure pump is nothing to play around with when you have a van because if you get a leak somewhere and you don't see it, that's not gonna be a fun day. So remember to tighten this up quite good this one as well and this one is a little bit diy so we have to see if this gonna actually be tight or if i have to find another one but yeah i think that's good enough to, for testing and i do have tools for this kind of stuff but no i'm not gonna go inside and get it because i can use the wrong tool to get this done as well but yeah, it's a little bit harder. If I'm lucky right now, everything's gonna be watertight. So fingers crossed and wires crossed. Yeah, that's not good. So I need to find a way to tighten this up or actually make this waterproof because it's actually not made for it so that's why it's a little bit DIY but I think I can find a way to do it this teeth fitting is actually not made to have this end this was actually something my father found that we could actually just put inside this and hopefully it would be tight enough but it wasn't so the question is, how the heck am I gonna make this watertight? So maybe if I can find a rubber gasket for this one, and then I can use plumber's tape here, like that. Yeah, this was not a good day. Now I'm gonna have to take this apart and clean it really, really, really thoroughly. Let's try again, let's try again, like that, and as, as usual, we try with the faucet open first, just because, and then we try to close it, because it should work. leaking a little bit. Let's tighten that a little bit more. Yeah, no. Nope. I don't think it's a matter of tightening it. I don't think that's gonna actually fix it. Hmm. I should actually just order one and then be done with it, but yeah. So 
so finally it has arrived it took me almost five days to get this i ordered this uh, in monday and i got it today and it's friday hopefully i can get the faucet going today uh, it should be really nice because the one i tried that doesn't doesn't work was a dodgy diy build and this is actually a proper uh, fitting from messing so yeah i'm gonna fit this and Fingers crossed that it will work. So I need plumber's tape because why not make sure that it's not leaking. And I know that I had one here last time. Let's see if I can find it in the van. Maybe I left it out here since the first time. And look at that. So I'm just gonna put some on here. Not the easiest to put on, but yeah, I think it's good enough. Let's put on this clamp and then be done with it. So let's see if this leaks. Three, two, one. <laughs> seems fine no leaks so let's see what happens if I closing this because I had it open right now just to test it so if I close it what will happen three two one crap so this ended up not working uh, the clamp was not strong enough to hold it on place it spurt water out on the side and the pump would not stop i ended up taking this from my father's gardening hose i, I find an adapter put it on with plumber's tape uh, on all the threads and it did actually work so i'm gonna show you right now that it actually works and it's wonderful the pressure is high enough to actually trigger the pressure switch in the pump so now i have this fixed Le just see this as a switch for now no leaks works perfectly fine no leaks here and now when i turn this on the pump is, the pump is turning on and when i turn it off the pump is turning off and here's why i use the splitter between the cold water and warm water and this is because when I have this on it doesn't matter if it's cold or hot and I'm gonna have the same flow anyway so it's it makes it a little bit more unified instead of just having water on the cold side and nothing else so obviously I'm gonna have to change that if I put in some kind of warm water but for now it's actually working I'm really pleased with the result and yeah it took some tries trial and errors but yeah if you want something that's resistant for high pressure this is actually one way to go